Hey, thanks for tuning in. It's Wang and Bang. Whenever I'm hunting, you'll find on me at least these two things, 10 power binoculars and a range finder. A lot of hunters don't realize that binoculars are useful for more than just seeing things that are really far away. They're really useful for looking into brush, looking behind brush, even up very close. Because by rolling through the focus, they give you a sort of x-ray vision. Binoculars focus on a very flat focal plane and any brush, any sticks between your eyes and that focal plane will blur out, almost disappear. It's invaluable for telling the difference between a bunch of crossing sticks and the antlers of a buck, which is why I use them even hunting woods like you see around me here. I also use my rangefinder even when hunting things up close, especially when I'm bow hunting where the difference between 35 yards and 30 yards is the difference between a perfect shot and a missed or wounded animal. This year, for the first time ever, I had the chance to, to hunt the wide open spaces of Montana where the hunting is spending a lot of hours looking through glass. CVA muzzle loaders and Nikon sent me on the hunt, which is why Nikon also sent me these. They're laser force range finding binoculars. I use these hard for three days straight and I actually have the video linked in the video description below. I managed to get on camera my hunt and the hunt of Jason Sebo of CVA. We were able to each get a really nice four by four mule deer buck. And I really, I just can't believe that we got them on camera. Be sure to check out the full hunt in the video description below. A warning about this video. I got two sections where there's video looking through the binoculars and you're going to see some blooming of the display. You're going to see some blurriness of the images. That's all consequence of trying to get video through these binoculars. To your eye looking through these, the, o the OLED display is super sharp and the images are crystal clear. And with that caveat, the Nikon Laser Force rangefinding binoculars are what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Nikon Laser Force is a 10 by 42 binocular with a built-in 1900 yard laser rangefinder collimated at the factory. That means that whatever you're looking at, the laser can find its range all at a push of a button. They're fog proof and waterproof with a thick rubber skin providing both armor and grip. Each ocular lens is individually adjustable for focus with turn and slide rubber eye cups to ensure proper eye relief even when wearing glasses. The objective lens caps stay attached to make keeping the lenses clean and dry easy, especially when setting the binocular down. Powered by a single CR2 battery, the rangefinder turns on with the press of a button, illuminating the display right in the eyepiece. The OLED display provides a square aiming reticle and range info right in your field of view without impacting image clarity. Four intensity settings means that you'll be able to see it against a wide variety of colors and brightness of ranging targets. The range is displayed in tenths of a yard from 10 to 100 yards and in whole yards from 100 yards all the way to a whopping 1900 yards. The Laser Force also has what Nikon calls calls ID technology, which stands for incline decline. When activated, the range returned will be the horizontal distance to your target, which can be significantly different than the straight line distance. Both are important to know for making long range shots accurately because your actual distance tells your ballistic calculator how much windage you need and the horizontal distance tells you how much elevation you need. You might have noticed a bit of dust and debris on the Laser Force and the close-ups. That's because they've been used hard this hunting season, including three straight days of glassing for mule deer in Montana. Winds were a steady 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 75 miles per hour, which simply overpowered my microphone windscreen. So please excuse the noise. These are heavier than your ordinary 10 power binoculars, especially for the kind of glass they are. So you do have a bit of a weight penalty carrying it around in a place like this, but at a push of a button, I get a really good yardage. And on reflective objects, I've gotten out to 1,700 yards. We're hunting with muzzleloaders out here, so we're looking at 200 yards and on in. But this is plenty glass checking out 
distant deer to see what kind of racks they have as well as playing with the focus stuff up close and picking through the brush and see if you see any ears or antlers okay i am in montana and uh it is hard to get through scope video like this and uh, i gotta find the mule deer Right there, hard to see through the phone, but I'm gonna range them. Yep, that's them right there, 585. And uh, you have to excuse the angle of the view as well. But uh, this is really hard to get good footage through binoculars. But you get an idea. All I have to do is push the button, turn it on, hold it that's lazing, 384, 390, 385. The problem is, even though there's a big one right in there with that herd, uh, 4x4 with eye guards, uh, that's off the property we have for Mission Hunt. That fence right there is the property line. And so they're all right up in there. Right there are some white butts, 388 or 588. That's much too far for a muzzleloader shot, <laughs> especially in this wind. I wanted to show you how fast these range animals out to distances farther than most of us will ever shoot them. And since I don't have any mule deer randomly spaced in a field to demonstrate, I'll use these cows. Even their black coats reflect enough for the laser force to almost instantly return accurate range info at a press of a button. Obviously, the steadier you can hold the binoculars, the faster you'll get a range, which is why you can also get a tripod adapter for the laser force. I'm shaking so much because the winds are rocking the truck I'm sitting in, so even a tripod inside wouldn't help me much. The rangefinder automatically scans and updates the range as long as you have the button depressed with the last range displayed for 8 seconds, after which the rangefinder automatically powers down until you laze again. Though you're not likely to get a good return on an individual animal at really far ranges, you might find something close that's big enough to range. This barn, for example, was plenty reflective enough for me to range it at 1,696 yards. I must say it's pretty cool that it can pull that off even though I'd probably never use it in a hunting situation. It's hard to overstate how useful it is to be able to find an animal in nice big field of view, 10 power binoculars, and find its range by pushing a button. Compare that to finding an animal with your big field of view, 10 power binoculars, then losing sight of the animal while you transition to your monocular handheld rangefinder, then you get the range then you lose sight of the animal while you transition back to your binoculars. The entire time I was hunting out in Montana, I actually had this laser rangefinder sitting right here in my vest. It's the Monarch 7i VR. It is a really cool handheld laser rangefinder because it's optically stabilized. I got a whole video on it linked in the video description below. I didn't pull it out a single time because the laser force did what I wanted when I needed it every time. The MSRP for $11.99 and at that price you might be able to find clear binoculars that are just dedicated binoculars but you shouldn't be expecting that you're gonna pay $1,200 for binoculars then get a free built-in 1900 yard laser rangefinder. Just the rangefinder itself would cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars in a handheld version. It would be a lot bigger than this and a lot more expensive than this. As good as this is, this is way better at far distances at getting ranges. Add to that the fact that they're covered by Nikon's no fault policy for life where no matter what you do to them, they'll repair or replace them for free. And I think they are a really good value. If this is in your budget, I think you'd be really happy if you had these in your hands when you're hunting. If you want to learn more about the Nikon Laser Force, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang. 
and I hope to see you next time.